one of the issues I have is that I like to keep an extra uh, gallon of water or a couple gallons of water in the car at all times just for emergency or whatever. And in the winter, what happens is that the, uh, the water often freezes. And so if you have a gallon container of water, it'll freeze, it'll crack, and water will spill all over. So I did have water that was in here that burst and water kind of went all over in all the stuff underneath. So what I've been doing is keeping that gallon container in a garbage bag to help just keep it contained. One other idea was these water bottles. You can see that they've frozen and broken. That's not the greatest uh, solution, but it's something. One other thing that I tried or I'm going to try is this. It's called a survivor filter water bag. Water is one of the most important things to have in the back of your vehicle or have the ability to get water. It's one of the most important things to have and the most important skills to have. And it can sometimes mean the matter of life or death. So water can be divided into a few different categories. There's short-term water, medium-term, and then long-term water sources. So for the short-term, it's good to have a gallon of water or you can have containers of water, just like bottles of water. What we are gonna try are these water bladders, but short-term water is good to have on hand that's easily accessible, that's clean, and just takes a second to get. Now, you don't wanna have a massive amount of water. You don't wanna be carrying around eight gallons of water um, just every day, because that weighs a lot and it takes up a lot of space. The medium term water supply would be something where you can get water through like a stream or a lake, something like that, where you can easily filter it or you can boil it. So having a filter straw is an easy thing to have, takes up very minimal space or a water filtration pump, something like that where you can uh, clean the water and put it in a different container. This is the Survivor Filter Water Canteen and also the Survivor Filter Squeeze Filter which also comes with two canteens. So I went with a Survivor Filter bag like this because it's a very flexible bag. It's easily compactable. You can see it can roll up very small into a backpack. It's easily transportable. It comes with a fairly thick plastic handle here with a carabiner so you can hang this bag off of things off the backpack or whatever it comes with a cover over the water spout because you don't want a water spout that's just open to the air that gets in the dirt or debris or whatever gets contaminated and then you end up getting sick you want to have a cover over the lid the other reason why i went with this is because it's a water uh, spout like a spray nozzle instead of just uh, a flip top lid. The flip top lid you don't have the ability to squeeze the bag and get pressure behind it. So if you have like a wound or something like that you can use this bag as like a wound flush and squeeze the bag and get some pressure behind that to spray off something. So I like that. The opening is pretty large and so it's easy to fill up um, you can even put it in a stream or lake or whatever and fill this up with water that way pretty easily through this nozzle. One cool advantage with this is that here's one that's filled up with water. When it's filled, it has a flat bottom. So it stands up just upright like that. You don't have to have it laying down and potentially get the top dirty. It can stay up. Here's the filter and this kit comes with two of these bags and the filter. So we're going to open this up. So this is the Survivor filter and it has some threads. The threads match this. So if you fill this up with contaminated water, the threads screw onto here. You flip that off and you drink from here clean water. It's super lightweight and very compact. There's no moving parts, but also if you look on the back here, it's a three-stage filter. All of the plastic here is 
uh, BPA free. Here are the instructions that come with this uh, Survivor filter straw. So it, uh, it looks like it is able to filter out up to 100,000 liters. The mouthpiece can be reused up to 1,000 liters. Uh, filtration is down to 0.05 micron. So I've tried these bags for about a week or two now and took them on a trip and they work actually really pretty well. I like how they, when they're empty, they fold up and they compress into like nothing and they weigh almost nothing. And so for now, I'll just kind of keep a bunch of these in each vehicle. I like having the smaller individual um, water containers instead of like a giant barrel of water in case it springs a leak. You don't lose all of your water all at once. So I like the smaller ones and I just left enough air in there to allow for some expansion for freezing and maybe I'll just change out this water every few months or something like that. While we're talking about water, one of the most overlooked pieces of equipment is a metal pot. A good stainless steel metal pot like this one from MSR. This is a really, really good thing to have because not only can you heat up soup or cook other food, but it is a way to boil water. You can sterilize water. What you don't want to do is just rely on carrying gallons and gallons of water around with you. You need to be able to have a way of being able to clean water that you come across. So a good metal pot has multiple uses. It's small, it's fairly lightweight, it's compact, it's durable, it's stainless steel. So have a metal pot in your kit and you can clean a whole lot of water as long as you can do it over fire or with a stove. So that's kind of the medium term water solution. Another water solution could be, um, could be a Silcox key. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is something that really should be in any sort of emergency survival preparedness kit or you know, bin, something like this. We'll go through all the contents of all this stuff, maybe at a different video, but this is important for water. So this is called the Silcox key and it has different sizes of square shaped wrenches that if you look on the side of buildings, you'll notice that there's a small little door on the side of the building that's marked for water. And this is a way to have access to that to be able to get water. So if you're in an urban environment and you desperately need water and there's some sort of disaster that's happening or something like that, this is something that you can use and get water very quickly. That should be clean water. So those are some of the varieties of methods to be able to get water and have it clean and to be able to use it um, pretty easily and effectively. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm slowly building subscribers and trying to get over that 1000 mark. So thank you to each of you who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. And it helps motivate me to continue to make some videos. So thanks again for watching. See you later.